So plan out your social media. Now, we're going to talk a little about social media today, and sometimes it just I have to take a deep breath when I talk about social media because people get lost in social media. They forget to prospect. They forget to make phone calls. We're in the relationship business. So in order to foster the relationship, you've got to make phone calls. You've got to make direct connections, whether it's DM, PMs, phone calls, text messages, something to foster or build that relationship. So that's my little disclaimer before I talk about planning out your social media because people can get right into the tailspin of spending too many, too much time planning out social media and not enough time actually generating leads. In my opinion, planning out your social media is not going to generate leads. It's building a base to generate leads. So Mike, you said it's not going to generate leads. No, you're building something to start generating leads, but it takes time. So everyone knows social media is an incredibly powerful marketing tool for any business. There we go. However, there are people who get lost in the wayside trying to just post anything. So one easy way to make sure the best, uh, uh, make the best use of social media is qu quite literally plan out what you're doing going to post. So it's easy as writing a notebook. What do you want to post? How do you want to post it? When do you want to post it? And I'll add one more. Where do you want to post it? It's important, guys. So the question is pretty vague, so it's hard to answer, but it's quite easy. Take the question very literally. As an agent, think about it. What you want your clients to know about you the most. Here's some examples, guys. This is very important because I see this all the time when it comes to agents posting, and I don't care what platform. Do you think on WeChat, do you think that customers go to WeChat, a social media platform, do you really think they go there because they're looking for homes every single day of their entire life? They're going to tune you out. So you're going to lose your referral business if you keep posting listings and posting. Listings. I know you want to talk about how busy you are. I know. But you need to balance these things out. So again, think about what you want your client to know about you the most. Because we're in the no like, and trust business. Because guess what? Do they really need you to accompany them to the house? Oh my gosh. I know agents are going to hit the deck right now. Mike, are we being replaced? No, think about that. So, it, so in order for people to connect with us as a relation business, they have to know, like, and trust you. So ask yourself what you want your clients to know about you the most. Here are some examples of what you might be thinking of. Your new listings, your deal just went to contract, your deals that have just closed, your open houses. Right? Those are just some of the regular stuff. And when I say pictures around this stuff, okay, I don't think you should be just posting like, hey, open house at 123 Main Street. Take yourself flip the camera around. I know we're all fearful. We all are, right? On the camera right now. How do I look? I'm good? Yeah? I don't got anything in my face, right? A little zoom, a little zoom uh, humor. You probably think I'm crazy, right? I know. They all tell me I'm crazy. Is it awkward yet? I'm talking to you. Is it awkward? All right, cool. Gotcha. All right, so... <laughs> When you're posting, humanize, rehumanize, because it's about you. It's actually not about the listing if you're going to look for referrals. Because if you just put a listing up and the listing, and, and, and it's just a house, it's bricks. That's not telling the story about you. Why should I call you? But these are important things. Right? If you got a new listing, take a picture in front of the new listing. Take a picture of like a cool picture in the house or... Listen, take a picture of the toilet bowl and say it's like the coolest toilet bowl you've ever seen. Open houses. We, we don't have to go wild on videos, but take a video of an open house. But 30 seconds. Don't give the whole tour of the house. I've, I've seen so many times where agents are taking the tour of the whole house. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't even make sense, right? This is very shaky. And it's like, see the house? And people are like, no, I don't see the house. I hear you, but I don't see the house. And by the way, when I say this, I'm not talking about one particular agent. I'm not calling anybody out. I'm just trying to give you ideas, what would be relevant marketing, what your family and friends want to see and hear. Because think about what do you tune out as a consumer? What do you tune out? Like if, every day I saw some of these video posting up about walking through a house and I never see their face. I might even unfollow them from my page because it's annoying. Oh, yeah, I said it. So think about it as if you were a consumer. What do your clients want to know about you the most? So plan out your social media. How do you want to post it? Let's say you decide that you definitely want to post about your new listing. 
Great, the next step is to consider how you want that information to be related to the audience. For example, on Instagram, you don't only have one option. Taking a picture and writing a caption, that is an option. Yes, think about it. All the other ways you can post it. Think about all the ways you can post it. Okay, how do you wanna post it? If you're posting your new listing on Instagram, you can post it as a story. And by the way, social media changes from time to time. So today, this tip might be in a year, or even one month from now, maybe irrelevant. But right now, this is this is the way to help get noticed on social media, right? Post it as a story. Regular posts have a ma max of 10 photos in one post, but stories have no limit. Do a walkthrough on Instagram Live. Who tried that? IG Live posts will be broadcast to all your active followers, and they can join in while it's happening. Or actually, is it after you finish the live? These are all ways, and by the way, these are all ways to generate referrals, my friends, because we're still on foundation. We have not even reached, okay, past the foundation. Because if you're not doing this, how can you expect to be referred? People only know what they see on TV. Yes or yes? Come on. Come on, these, these weird times, right? I mean, people only know what they see on TV or social media. You know that. And if you don't, Okay, then maybe you only see what's in the tunnel, okay? Because most of us do. So what that means is that I have seen people that are great agents, but nobody even knows who they are. Because you know why? They're not active on social media. I love agents say, oh, well, I don't really do social media. It's not really my thing. Okay, how are people able to find you? Oh, well, now, especially during, you know, the, how, if the question, how are people gonna find you? That's really the question, my friend. If they want to refer you, how do they find you? Oh, they just know me, Mike. I've been a realtor for 20 years, 30 years. They're just going to find me. Oh, right. So you didn't do that mail out. You don't have social media. Uh, how are they supposed to remember you? So that's how you're going to get referrals. I know it sounds crazy. Plan your social media. Consistency is the key. And when I say consistency, you know, every other day, every two days, whatever it is, but be consistent with it. For example, you can dedicate Monday to posting your new listings, Wednesday to posting your closed deals, Friday to upcoming open houses. But remember guys, flip the camera around <clears throat> and decide how you tell your story. For closings, yes, you can take a picture at the closing table, but I think it's more interesting and very interesting if you take a picture at that homeowner's beautiful new place. How's this? What if you would have taken, that's why you need to think about social media. What if you were after the closing and you needed a renovation in the house, you did a before and after and you interviewed your past customer after the renovation and say, hey, John, tell us how you did it, John. How'd you do this new kitchen? Don't you think that's more interesting to your buyer base or your referral base? Don't you think it's more interesting? Do you think they'll call you more? Or is it cold just posting listings because you think you're the, you know, some people think that their WeChat is like, okay, is, is, there, is there Zillow, right? Okay, I'll put it up on WeChat and all the customers are only going to come to me. Right. They're only going to come to you. They will come to you if you humanize yourself and say, wow, you know what? If I am ready to buy a house, I like this person. And I've heard it all before, and I'm talking right now specifically about WeChat, Okay, I've heard it all before, but Mike, the customers are not loyal anyway. Right. They're not loyal. Try it. They only understand, the customer will only understand value when they see value. Got it? When they see value. That's how they'll refer you. I've heard really good feedback from people in the street sometimes. Uh, they say, well, you know, so-and-so is very active. So-and-so is very active because they post listings, they post about their life, their kids, their whatever it just makes it interesting and it keeps people in front especially when times where you can't connect in person or at any like networking events that's why we're talking heavy today on social media